Welcome back then to Amsterdam, where the referee now looking at the watch to start this second 45 minutes. Having had the first 45 minutes of some beautifully artistic football from Ajax, full of excitement and penetration as well. And some brave and stubborn defense by Arsenal, which leaves it at 1-1. And of course, over two legs, in the event of the tie ending level, away goals do count double. And so that goal by Ray Kennedy, now getting in on the picture very quickly, could still be a very vital one indeed. Charlie George now making the break. And with a very powerful shot indeed. The line, but in fact, signaling that it's a goal kick. The referee moving that way, saying it's a corner, taking the linesman's point of view. Match is being watched live in Holland by, they estimate, 80% of the population. Not only is it being shown live in Holland, but by 10 other European countries as well. So it really is one of the biggest audiences that Arsenal have had for a long, long time. Kaiser now. And a throw to Ajax, quite with it. Played back rather slackly to Charlie George, Kennedy. Radford's gone steaming on ahead. George Graham is up there too. Wide of Radford. Charlie George. Frank McClintock. Kennedy beaten by Crow. Cross by Swart. Kaiser, in fact, leaving it to Cruyff, and neither of them getting it. Armstrong. As tenacious as ever, but he couldn't keep it in. Blankenberg. Nelson on the far side, prepared to let it go through to Wilson. Pull off two or three very fine saves. Muren to Hart. Quite. Lovely piece of acceleration again as he goes past George Gray and tries to get a one-two going. And was he impeded? No! I think Arsenal were a little lucky there that they were allowed to get away with that one. That looked like a blatant piece of obstruction by Arsenal inside that uh, penalty area on Cruyff. But it's Kaiser taking it up again for Ajax and Nelson getting up well in the Arsenal defence. Armstrong. Mirren to Spock. Van Dijk to in for, Hahn is up as well. Van Dijk going ahead to it, but behind for the goal kick. Truly getting behind Ajax now. Simpson and Stoy right out of his penalty area. To try and keep the momentum of it going for Ajax. To keep the pressure on Arsenal. Cruyff a little flick there and Nelson in quickly. Cruyff chasing everywhere for it. He's such a changed character over the last couple of years. He was always a great individualist. But now he's also a great team man as he tries to find somebody there. But Simpson getting above everybody. Kaiser. Story and Blankenberg. Story again. Pulls off. Nelson in very quickly on spot. Cruyff. the game. Resisting that challenge from Charlie George very well. 
Blankenberg. Then comes the deep one towards the Arsenal area. And this time it's Rice, miss kicking. And Cruyff again trying to find his way through and across that goal again. And the corner is given to Ajax. And so the volume is turned up on the klaxons and the hunting horns. And the noise grows just a little more intense as Kaiser now takes the corner for Ajax. Lower trajectory with that one. And Kennedy now for Arsenal. Oh, playing it straight to Muren and a little lucky to get away. Scorey trying to get it to Kennedy again. Pulls off, planning it in again, but offside. In fact, the uh, linesman was flagging offside. The referee had his back to him and didn't give it. Radford. Beaten, though, by Blankenberg. Hulshoff, and Hulshoff again. Ajax again in this half, forever coming forward. Steve Burtonshaw, I notice the Arsenal coach down beneath me, out of his seat, urging Arsenal on to give even more effort. Armstrong, McClintock. And that's the ball for Charlie George. Hit across there first time in the hope that Radford will be on the end of it. Pulls off to Crow. Sparks. Cruyff's ball killed beautifully. And what a good ball there to Serbia. And Serbia wasn't quite equal to it. And in any case, he was offside. with another 25 minutes left to withstand this continual Ajax pressure to go away with what would be a very good result indeed. Pat Rice with the kick. Radford playing it away to the left, hoping that somebody was there, but only Blankenberg for Ajax. Kroll. Blankenberg again. Kaiser. Rankenberg once more with the cross. Van Dyke was it? No, it was Spark who was there. And there's still all the feet are buzzing around there. McClintock was in the middle of it, going down and getting himself up again. And keen to get in and sort them out. And now there's quite a melee going on there as the tension rises a few notches higher. And the referee's got to get in there and sort that out quickly. Trainers on, photographers on. And McClintock presumably tripped as he followed that ball out of the penalty area. And the referee, in fact, giving the free kick to Arsenal. And the arguing still goes on. Now, the card is coming out and being put back in again by the referee. Now, whether he cautioned anyone in that uh, melee there, we shall have to discover later, perhaps. But as it stands, a free kick for Arsenal, and Bob Wilson to take it. Kennedy. Graham. Nelson. Simpson. Oh, he very nearly presented that to Kaiser. The flag, though, up for a free kick against uh, Ajax, who are going on and on in the hope that that free kick would stand, but it didn't. Sport and Milleran are poised there. Sport it is with it. Well, why? So halfway through the second half now, and quite clearly the last quarter of this game is going to be very, very tense indeed.
Simpson a long way back to Wilson. Kaiser in for Hahn. But Armstrong, who really has been a proper little whippet there, getting in everywhere in defence. Back again now towards Fulsong. That time it was Rice getting in the way. Hahn hoping to get to it, but again it was Rice, and this time George Grail. Story and Radford ahead of him down that touchline. Kennedy. Now Radford. And offside given. Could have been very little in it, but the Greek linesman giving John Radford offside and a free kick then to Ajax. Mueller under a lot of pressure and surely obstructed there. That's got to be a free kick. To Ajax. So anxious to get on with it. In fact, they're wasting time by trying to steal four or five yards. Blankenberg with it. Simpson, big and strong at the back again for Arsenal. A bit off and Simpson are right there, and so is Van Dyke. And it's Simpson who puts his foot on it. And a penalty is given. The penalty is given. A penalty given to Ajax for the foul on Van Dyke. With a quarter of an hour gone. That was the incident as Van Dyke went crashing. So now, as Arsenal being told to get outside the penalty area. Simpson now getting inside that area too. Bob Wilson so much resting on him. And it's going to be Muren. And Arsenal are playing a silly game there. They know they've got to get outside that penalty area. Maybe it's putting extra pressure on Muren. But he's put it in the net. And 2-1 to Ajax. second goal and Ajax lead by two goals to one with a quarter of an hour to go Bradford taken rather hard from behind and retaliating there on Suvia and another little squabble starting there again and the caution going up and being shown looks very much to John Radford and also I think to the Ajax player as well and in fact a free kick given to Arsenal Steve Burton show out of his seat on the right urging Arsenal now to keep their heads because 2-1 by no means is any sort of disgrace and it really would be quite Arsenal would be quite capable of pulling that sort of score back in the second leg even against the side as good as uh, Ajax and now Charlie scores but above all Arsenal must not get too involved they've really got to keep their heads and keep the Ajax score to 2-1 The noise level turned up again as Hahn takes it up again for Ajax. Kaiser. McClintock. And Kaiser again. And Arsenal throw.
kick to Arsenal. Rice to take it. Bradford trying to flick it towards Kennedy. Charlie George. And on the far side, Graham, but he won't quite get to it. Stey is there before him. Bullcock <laughs> leading the charge by Ajax this time. And the corner to them. Stey is going to take it. Richards coming forward again. Almost everybody up now for Ajax. And missed though by Muren. Muren again. It'll come for Kaiser. And Armstrong in there to deny him the cross. A second time. Play still going on in spite of the tackles there. Kaiser with a nasty looking cross. And punched away by Wilson. Sourbeer taking it back again. And this time over the Arsenal crossbar. Still the uh, Ajax substitute for number 16, Rep, warming up. But Wilson again with the goal kick for Arsenal. George Graham to John Radford. Now for Kennedy. Graham's in the middle. Radford's at the far side, and he's got time to make a good cross, but it wasn't a good one. Rice. Story out jumps. Pulls off right up there amongst the Ajax attackers now, and three Arsenal players caught offside. Frankenberg. Charlie George to John Radford. But Radford and Kennedy not working at all well at the moment. And Ajax to take it up again with Muren. Cruyff. Towards Van Dijk once more. Simpson up there. Kaiser there too. And Arsenal's goal kick. Now on my watch, 10 minutes to go. is going on and Van Dijk coming off Rice and Blankenberg to Hart Mirren Langenberg again, holds off. And Cruyff turning one way, turning the other, laying it into the path of Hulshoff. And another corner to Ajax. A very deep one again, George Graham, and some pushing by Spart on Graham. Bradford far too slow there. Khan to Kroll. To Spart. Kroll linking up again. All the big defenders are coming forward in this last big push by Ajax. And the cross again. Hulshol. Kaiser. And Muren, but off Sammy Nelson's neck. Turned in again towards Spart. Will it go? Will it go? No! It's a corner instead. And one of the rare occasions on the night.
when they've been pushed to the limits that Arsenal really have not known what's going on in defence. A corner coming up as we see the replay. And just past the corner, in fact, the resulted from that incident already taken. And Arsenal's free kick. Charlie George taking it quickly. Radford to Graham going down the left. And now Kennedy. Armstrong. Well, claiming obstruction and getting obstruction. So that'll take a few more seconds that uh, Ajax would hope could have been spent pounding the Arsenal goal. Armstrong himself to take it, a quickly flighty one. George Graham getting up. But in fact, it was uh, Radford's header that was wide. Sky wanting to take it quickly. As you can see on the watch, we're now in the last minute with a little time to be added on four injuries. Blankenberg, and well offside was Hulsoff, the defender who hadn't come back, but the, again, the referee had got his back on the linesman. Yes, Jordy. Armstrong, oh, just a little too delicate. Charlie George, and off an Ajax player for an Arsenal throw. And Charlie George, who was, I think, suffered a bit with his heavy cold. Certainly, if Arsenal had their share of the luck in the first half, when the ball twice slithered against their crossbar, they really have defended stubbornly in this second half, but now there's another thing looming up for them, and it's Johan Cruyff. Played left for Kaiser. The last seconds of the game, a dipping cross there, and Wilson gathering it well from the challenge of two Ajax forwards. Cruyff among them. In fact, he was impeded, and the free kick given. As we now go into injury time. So Arsenal, who had their share of the luck in the first half, but really have defended very doggedly and very well together in the second half, and really have denied Ajax very many chances of a clear sight at goal. So a lot of credit to Arsenal for the rear guard action they play, but again, it's Ajax coming forward. And Cruyff, and Wilson again, is there to stop them. And a cross back goal again for Peter Storey. Wilson is down and injured, but how he got out there to stop Cruyff that time, I do not know. And he's still injured, and Cruyff is dealing with him. And Arsenal take up the running now, in the very last seconds with Armstrong. Radford in the middle. The cross towards John Radford, and this time it's Storey. And still Wilson is down and injured, and still the referee allows it to go on. Now he stopped it. And Wilson down and obviously in pain, being tended to by Cruyff very sportingly. 2-1 is how we stand. As you can see, we are well into injury time. A tension-filled European Cup quarter-final. Which Arsenal have shown so much character and so much depth and strength and Ajax for their part a lot of artistry and exciting football too leaving so much to play for in that second leg at Highbury coming up in a fortnight McClintock and Simpson in the back four have been really outstanding for Arsenal keeping their heads so well and Wilson of course at the very back has been magnificent Steve Burton show I would think quite reasonably satisfied with a 2-1 result. Knowing that it'll be Arsenal's turn to put the pressure on Ajax in the uh, second leg, it'll be a drop ball. The referee wanting uh, the Arsenal trainer off the field. But I think it can be little more than a formality of a drop ball and very soon after it a final whistle. Throw. Another long ball forward, Cruyff to, hoping to get to it, but before he can, the whistle has gone, and it's 2-1 to Ajax, and that really is not at all a bad result for Arsenal. Some cushions raining over my head onto the crowd, and onto the pitch behind me, but Clintock, the Arsenal skipper, and Simpson, who performed marvellously at the back, 
and Ajax who will present still a very big threat for Arsenal in that second leg. So the goal by Ray Kennedy that got Arsenal off in the right frame of mind. Mure and equalizing before half time and then scoring the winner. There's Cruyff, then scoring the winner with 15 minutes to go with a penalty in the second half. And so, as we bid you goodbye from Amsterdam with a final scoreline that reads Ajax 2, Arsenal 1, and now goodbye.